everybody, Kevin. Kevin, everybody. Hi guys. <laughs> so, how did you first learn about float therapy? Um, honestly, I heard it in passing, uh, and when I first heard about it, it was in the terms of, like sensory deprivation, uh, and so then I started doing some hunting on it and found true rest mm. and I was like all right let's try this weird thing out yeah see where this goes uh and then I came in and yeah it's been fantastic so, <laughs> coming back right on so what are like the the top benefits that you get from your float I like to float when things in life start to make like the headspace really noisy uh to come in here and just kind of like reset um there's a lot of physical benefits to it too. Like I've had, I've been, had an accident and took pretty severe like uh, spinal damage. And so this is one of the only things where like it resets physically. So like my muscles and like everything just kind of resets and uh, chills out. But between that, my biggest thing is like when life starts to get real just busy and I just need to like come back to here. That's why I like to come in the flow. Did, if anything, what surprised you most about like first coming in to? I would say what surprised me the most uh, was the overall feeling of True Rest. Of True Rest Chandler, uh, from the moment that I walked in, going through the process, you know, the after flow sensations, it's just, it became, the spa became a space of recalibrating for me like anytime I ever walk in here I get to like even if I don't float I come back to me uh, and I was really surprised to immediately have that feeling coming back over and over and over again and not just being like a one-time sensation and so I don't know if that was because of the floating I don't know if that's because you guys are all awesome or like you know I'm just, it's a little bit of all pretty good mixture yeah know, all the <laughs> nice concoction uh, but, I don't know, I was I was a little intimidated, like, getting into this, like, weird egg-shaped thing, and, like, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, what's going on? Uh, and it was really surprising at just how f quickly I was able to adjust and let go. Uh, and that was one of the biggest things about it, is, like, 60 minutes turned into, like, five minutes, and I'm like, I'm done? <laughs> oh, why do I feel like this? My, huh, this is odd. So, Time travel. Yeah. It was really <laughs> crazy. Uh, and then, like, uh, float brain, totally real thing. Very similar to, like, yoga brain. Like, going into, like, a hot, 90 minute hot yoga se uh, session and going through that just really strenuous uh, and physically demanding sensation was on one side of it and so like you get out of that and you're just your brain's just like whoa same thing you come out of here it's just on a different level and so like being able to come into the relaxation rejuvenation room and like reset uh it was just amazing mm -hmm. uh but that was one thing that really surprised me is like getting into that mental space uh and then like recovering not even recovering, reprocessing life afterwards. Hmm. Uh, and there's not been many things that I've found so far that allows me to get into that mental space. And so floating and it being such a passive, relaxing, just non-strenuous way to get there, it was just beautiful. Level. Uh, and I loved it. Yeah. Loved every second of it. Uh, walking out of here feeling like just a million dollars. You're like, whoa, I'll get to that again. That so, you guys, this is Kevin. If you haven't met him yet, he is a friend to everyone here um, when he's here. And pretty much everyone, all the time, wherever he's at. So All the peeps. Yep, yep. So, we are super, super thankful to have him here and have him be our January member of the month and start 2020 off strong, um, you know, with, with float vibes, getting yourself in here, getting to know yourself, like he was saying and also sharing the journey with one another because without each other we ain't got much. <laughs>